Pat Robertson is going to surprise us all here. He heard about the creationism versus evolution debate, and he wanted to weigh in. He said this. Let's face it. There was a bishop in the Middle Ages there, uh, 1800 something, uh, who added up the dates listed uh, in Genesis, and he came up with the world that had been around for 6,000 years. There ain't no way that's possible. You know, anybody that's in the oil business knows that he's drilling down. He drilled down 2,000, uh, excuse me, two miles, three miles, four miles underground. You're coming into all these layers that were laid down by the dinosaurs. And we have skeletons of dinosaurs that go back about uh, 1.65 million years. And to say that it all came about in 6,000 years is just nonsense. And I think the time we, we come off of that stuff and say this isn't possible. And, but, I mean, so there was a big bang. So <clears throat> that doesn't mean it came spontaneously. Nobody knows what caused the big bang, but I say God did it. God's in charge of all this. God's in control, and um, he is the author of all life. But um, we've got to be realistic that the dating of Bishop Usher just doesn't comport with anything that is found in science. And, and you know, you, you can't just totally deny um, the geological formations that are out there, the rock formations and all the things that go all over the world, especially the bones. And we, we have found uh, a uh, Pterosaurus Rex out there in the it was Oregon or someplace, I mean, a full skeleton. And that baby was laid down about 65 million years ago. So I mean, let's let's be real. Let, let's not be. Uh, let's not make a joke of ourselves. <clears throat> but I don't believe in so-called evolution as it is currently presented as as non-theistic. I believe that God started it all, and He's in charge of all of it. But the fact that you have uh, progressive evolution under His uh, control. That doesn't hurt my, my faith at all. But uh, I, this thing, you know, we just can't be playing this usher. Bishop Usher, God bless him, rest his soul in peace. He was just off. Well, at least Pat Robertson is more rational than Ken Ham. Ken Ham, of course, is the guy who held down the creationism side of the creation versus evolution debate versus Bill Nye. He's the guy that owns the Creation Museum that actually has... Kids riding dinosaurs. Yes, they pretend like humans and dinosaurs existed at the same time. <laughs> even though we know that's not true. So even he's like, come on, man, that's nonsense. All right, come on, can we stop being babies here? C can we get our shit together? We're looking ridiculous. Well, Pat, I mean, you managed to make yourself look ridiculous enough. You don't need any help. So I don't, don't think like you're above this here. You also look silly. But yeah, you're better than Ken Ham. That, that's for sure. But here's just one point I'll make real quick about this. Okay, Pat, you, don't be selectively rational. People that are selectively rational bug me to no fucking end. Because, okay, so you say the, the world is not 6,000 years old. Credit. Credit to you. Nice. But what about the parts of the Bible, the over a dozen parts of the Bible, that allude to the fact that the world is flat? That's in the Bible. So, okay, is that, out, is, is that not real either? Okay, so then Pat Robertson, I'm going to assume he thinks it's a round world, okay? So, when that's gone, and the 6,000 years old is gone, and then, okay, we'll admit that the, the stars are not actually angels that are poking with needles through the sky to show you bits of heaven. Okay, so that's gone too. We'll say Pat doesn't believe in that. We'll say that Pat doesn't think that cutting your hair is an abomination in the eyes of God, even though it says that in Leviticus, and the punishment is death because he cuts his hair. You could see that. So, he believes all these things that are contradictory to the Bible. So then, wait a second, your Bible is crumbling in front of us. We know it's not factual. We know it's not real. We know it's not... It's based on what man wrote, not man inspired by God, because if it was actually inspired by God, then you can't cut your fucking hair. And the world is flat. And then the stars is, are, is heaven uh, shining through. So it's selective rationality, and it doesn't make any sense. It's just... Follow it to its logical conclusion and realize that the Bible is just as big a mythology as the Greek gods and the Roman gods and any other religion that Pat Robertson doesn't buy into.